Aloha, YouTube. Some of the highlights from this year, what I thought were some of the, the big highlights. I'm going to go over some of the failures that I thought were big failures this year, uh, some of the successes, and we're going to talk about what's coming forward for the future of the channel in 2020, including a new channel. And uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know why it seems like we need to do one of these at the end of every year. We're still going. We're still going. We're still going. Oh, my gosh. Even though it's just numbers on a calendar, it's also kind of a reset. You know, the, the shortest day of the year has just come and gone and we're, days are going to start getting longer. And it is kind of like a rebirth in a way. Also in this video, I'm going to give you guys a little update on three of the snakes here that had the hardest year, starting with my buddy Junior. If you guys remember, or if you guys have been subscribed and been watching, you remember Junior had a pretty long struggle uh, towards the beginning of this year and, and it lasted for a while. And he's, he's here. He's still doing good. And his eye is still... Every now and then I look at it and it's a little bit bigger than, than I think it is normally. And it's just something I think that he's going to kind of have for the rest of his life. But he is doing really nice. He's doing well. And I'm, I'm happy that that he made it through that struggle and that he's still here with us today to sit and be the friendly snake that he is. Because uh, one thing that's not going to change with the channel is that I'm always going to be handling snakes in the majority of the videos, I would say. I mean, that's just that's how we all know each other for the most part is through reptiles and these guys just have that thing where I, when I'm holding them, it takes me back to that little kid place where I'm just kind of reconnecting with nature in a way. And uh, I just, it's always set me at ease to just hang out with a snake since I was a little kid. So that's something that will not change with the channel. As many changes as I see coming forward with the channel, that's one of them that's not going to change. A couple of shout outs. You see Junior here on the Coco Blocks. You haven't got your Coco Blocks yet. Shout out to Jesse. Get your Coco Blocks. Link in the description. Also shout out to my buddy Sean over BP Collector. He's got an interview coming up on Triple B TV. Got to meet him over at the Tinley Park show this year. And uh, funny enough, I went to go check out his latest upload on his channel since I was going to give him a shout out. And he, he was wearing our shirt on his la last video. So good timing. All right, let's go over a couple of the highlights for this year. I sold my first snake for five figures, which was pretty exciting and definitely a big moment for us at Triple B as far as business stuff goes. Of course, to my buddy Miguel over there at Always Evolving Pythons who I have a pretty big bone to pick with, but I'm not. I'm gonna wait till we see him at Anaheim coming up and I, we'll do it on video. Dave Kaufman came to visit this year, which was a big deal for me. And uh, me and Dave are pretty good friends now, really good friends. I was beside myself when he came because he's one of those guys that I watched on YouTube before I even considered starting a channel here and to have him come visit us here in our hometown and, and hang out and do videos, that was just, that was definitely a highlight for me. Also going to the Canada show, those guys flying us out, that was, that was great. Another highlight for sure getting to uh, sit down and talk with Mark Mandick, another one of the guys that I that I first watched and saw before I ever entered this world. Got to do an interview with him, which was possibly one of the best interviews we did this year, I think. Just Mark was a great guy to sit down with and talk and have a great conversation. And then in Tinley, getting to sit down and have an interview with Mr. McCurley, who's, again, somebody else that is a huge part of me coming back into the hobby and reading his books and watching his videos and getting to sit down with him and see how cool he is in person. Uh, that was another big highlight. Having Brian, Gundy, and Barcheck on the channel at the same time, that had been a goal of mine for a while. I really wanted to get those two on the channel at the same time. Wanted to go herping with them. Well, 
we didn't go herping necessarily, but we were at my buddy Forrest's place, so we got to check out a bunch of his place. It's like herping in place with captive animals because Forrest has so many different amazing animals. So that was definitely another big highlight. Oh, man, there's a there's a buttload of highlights I could go over. I'm going to try and stick to just a few because I don't want this video to get way too long. First blood python clutch with my buddy Travis over at Living Legless. That was definitely a highlight. That was super exciting. My first time doing a, a joint breeding project with a buddy and first blood python clutch ever. Actually, Sangria and uh, his his boy Sangre, who I named, are getting it on right now. So we're looking to have another clutch of blood pythons coming here in 2020, which would be real exciting. I'm gonna go get the second snake. All right, next snake. Of course, this is our girl Lucy, the fire clown female who had trouble earlier this year when she got egg bound and we had to go uh, to the vet and have the egg cut out of her oviduct because it left her body while still in the oviduct, which was, I'm sure, more stressful for her than me, but uh, I'm just glad she pulled through and I'm glad that I do have one of her daughters here as well as one of her granddaughters that will stay here. So her legacy will continue, even though we won't breed her again, uh, her legacy will continue on. She's just a beautiful, beautiful animal. So I'm just really glad that her uh, she's gonna be able to keep her legacy going here, even though she will no longer breed. And with this second snake, uh, three of the biggest failures that I feel we had this year was the first one I set myself up for failure, which was trying to not consume any sugar for the entire year. And I actually made it a good deal. I, you know, I, I had a little like trip up day in Tinley in March, but then I jumped right back on the wagon. I basically didn't eat sugar and stayed mostly keto uh, for a good half of the year. And then I started to fall off and eat sugar and just jumped off the diet. And I just was like, that's, a, that felt like a huge failure. And I'm trying to do something again this year that's not gonna set myself up for failure, which is to just not eat after 8 p.m. Stop consuming stuff after 8 p.m. That in itself is a big enough challenge for me. I did mention, if you remember that, I thought the sugar thing was gonna be one of the hardest things I ever did in my life, which it proved to be. I failed. <laughs> and uh, I just wanna set myself a goal so I could, I do feel like I need to take better care of myself, especially since that's a big motto for us here on the channel, take care of yourself, take care of each other. I need to do a better job taking care of myself. Not that I'm doing horrible, but I could just do better. If I can just manage to not eat anything after 8 p.m., which is when we always have, uh, when I always have a hard time eating well, you know, start eating crap, excess amounts of sugar, it's always at night after everybody else is asleep. So if I can just manage to stay away from food, after 8 p.m., I think just that in itself will help me do a better job, take care of myself in 2020. And speaking of things like that, if you guys haven't any of your resolutions that you have for yourselves that you're trying to better yourself with this year, please leave a comment down below and we'll use this video as a checkpoint. We can go back and we can read our comments towards the end of this year and see how we did with keeping up with the things we said we were gonna try and do to better ourselves this year. I would really appreciate you guys put comments down there. I'm, I wanna read them all. I wanna see what you guys have set for yourselves that's gonna just better your life by bettering your life, probably better the lives of people around you in 2020. Another failure, which even though I had that nice sale of that snake, like, and I've sold basically all our snakes, somehow I've managed to get myself a little further into debt. Uh, it's just the beginning stages kind of, you know, we're still kind of getting off the ground as a, as a business here. And uh, I've just been putting everything into it as much as possible. And then of course, raising the family as well. And all those things that come along with it. Um, it's not something I necessarily need to share with you guys, but it is one of the bigger failures for me this year is that I have got further into debt instead of getting further out. I'm hoping that 2020 uh, pulls us out of debt more than we can go into. That would, that would be fantastic. Also, uh, the, the COPPA thing coming up uh, with YouTube. This isn't a failure of mine, but I just wanted to give you guys a heads up that that is coming. And I, I haven't researched it like in super depth, but I do understand that it's a thing. If you're not familiar with it, uh, basically the YouTube is getting uh, sued by the FTC for the Child Protection Act on the internet. Any of you guys that upload videos know that now you have to designate whether or not your content on either a specific video or over the whole channel is being made for kids or not. And this channel, I've definitely, is not gonna be made for kids. Like it's not gonna be geared towards kids at all. This. The bulk of my subscribers are probably in the 18 to 35 year old range. We do have people that watch that are younger. I would ask that it be the parents' responsibility to uh, determine whether or not they should be watching content here. There will be adult content on here. I'm not talking about X-rated stuff or anything ridiculous like that. I'm just saying, even in the, pre in the earlier in the year, we obviously covered, covered some topics that were not necessarily kid friendly. I will never talk about anything on the channel that I wouldn't talk about with my own kids, but I don't think it's my job to parent 
other people's kids and, and be responsible for what other parents think that their kids should be able to see. I will say that, you know, right up front next, this coming year, it's not going to be a channel that's geared towards kids at all. My kids will be part of and be able to watch every one of them, but that might not be something that you guys have. I'm not going to tell you how to raise your kids. I am just going to say that it, it is your responsibility and not mine to see what your kids are watching on, on YouTube. And the third biggest failure came recently was when I ate it on the one wheel. That was, uh, that was painful. I'm still in pain from that, actually. I'm still uh, struggling to get back through that. I have been taking a lot of action, and I think actually that the late night eating thing will help let my body recuperate at night better than trying to digest food. It'll help me recover faster. I've been going in the sauna, I've been going to the gym, I've been getting some physical therapy done, uh, and I'm feeling confident that I will fully recover. Although you might not be able to tell just watching the video, but I, I have been in pain, constant pain, pretty much since that happened. Um, but one of my other resolutions, kind of a side resolution for 2020, is to not be a little whiny bitch. So, <laughs> one more thing that's kind of a failure, but also a success. I don't know, like, we're, we're about to hit 20,000 subs if we didn't already. And uh, that's cool and all. I, I, I'm very thankful for everybody that subscribes. There's a lot of us, including, actually, a huge shout out to our Patreon subscribers that have been with us for the past couple years. All these people down below have been supporting for a long time, which I'm very grateful for. These guys kind of, I'm not, you know, obviously you don't need to... There's many ways to support us just watching, commenting, and there, people have been here since the beginning of my start on YouTube, the first episode of Triple B TV, still got some of the same subscribers. I'm very appreciative of you guys. Um, I would like to see a little little bit of viewership uh, to the subscriber ratio towards the end. I've, maybe my vlogs has been getting a little boring, I could admit to that. Uh, my energy has just come in all, kind of been all over the place, and this channel is never going to be super... Uh, consistent as far as like content like it's not always going to be snake content it's not always going to be a certain type of content it's just my public diary essentially that being said if you guys have ideas of stuff that you would like to see on the channel leave comments below next year we do have a lot of cool stuff coming up but i'd, I'd love to see some comments below of stuff you would like to see me cover anything any topics anything at all that you'd like to hear my perspective on or just some some kind of care video even though i'm not really big on making care videos because i don't consider myself an expert in any way I would love to hear your guys' input as far as what you would like to see on the channel in this coming year. I would love to put energy into doing things that you would like to see that will also reverberate with my own uh, creativity. And with that, uh, it's time to get to the successes and one more snake. Uh, and the third and final snake for the update is my girl Beatrice, Beatrice, Buttercup. Buttercup here is a lavender genetic stripe. The funny thing is that I got her at the exact same time and size and age as our big huge girl Betsy, our biggest snake here. And they're both female, and this girl just grew at this much slower rate and stayed much smaller. Super interesting to see. I know there's talk that genetic stripe did come from a, a dwarf locality or something like that. Definitely not an expert on that subject, but I mean, it's just crazy to see that she stayed this small. And she's such a great snake. She's so docile and good with the kids and just easy, mellow. Never had any problems uh, whatsoever when it comes to feeding or just anything. She's just a beautiful, gorgeous snake, and I love this snake, and she's just so awesome. I don't know why we don't see her more often on the channel, I and mean, she's just gorgeous. Okay, so three that I thought were the major successes of this year were, one, starting the podcast with my buddy Garrett. We talked about that, and it's doing a lot better than he thought it was going to do. I, I told him the numbers the other day, and he was like, oh, that's way better than I thought we were going to be doing to start off and it's been really fun just having another creative outlet spot to go and just kind of talk with a buddy and just bs about whatever and it ends up being pretty good content from the feedback we've gotten and it's great for me it's a little another creative outlet and it's a uh, just a whole different platform to get ideas out there and talk with people and inspire people which is what i do this for in the first place like i love to just inspire people and, and get people thinking about things that might better their own lives. That's the biggest benefit I get from YouTube. It's not about getting as many subscribers as possible. Trust me, I know what I could do to like get, make videos go viral and do things like that, but that's not really my interest. I'm not interested in getting thousands or millions and millions of views. Would it be nice monetarily? Sure. But as, as ridiculous, I mean, this may sound disingenuous or whatever, but I, that's just not what it is for me. I enjoy connecting with people through this medium and, and me making all these friends that I've made and, and meeting people and really inspiring people versus, you know, getting as many views as possible. Don't get me wrong. I'd love to get millions of views on videos like this, but it's just not my driving force or it's not the driving force behind what makes me create these videos. I don't know. And not that there's anything wrong with doing that. It's just like, it's just not my thing. It's not my thing. And 
maybe someday I will make a channel where I just try to do ridic ridiculous stuff that people just like, like little two minute clips of just, whoa, <laughs> it's just ridiculous. I, I, I'd be open to doing something like that. But I, right now I'm focusing my time on what really true to my heart. So, and I'm gonna continue to do that for the foreseeable future. Um, another one of the successes that actually ties in with the third success was taking over Roaming Reptiles for Brandon. We've had several shows now, I think about 10 shows, we're booked with all the libraries in the county this summer and just getting to watch kids have their first experience with a snake. And I've done this before, Roaming Reptiles too, but just having that that outlet now where it's like, that's a thing that I'm gonna be doing regularly on a regular basis is a huge success for me. I mean, it's gonna help out our family financially. It's going to, it's helping me spiritually just to, and just fulfilling my heart and soul watching these kids have that moment and like watching these teachers and just, general public people that have been creeped out by all these different animals and watching them turn over that leaf there's really uh no greater reward than just to see that happen to watch somebody go from being like afraid and ignorant to to snakes or these animals and and overcoming that i mean i could talk about that all day and that really ties in with the third success is my, my public speaking which i've been getting working towards to see <laughs> speaking not my strong point but these videos, making these videos and having a YouTube channel is make it, has made it really easy to reflect on myself and, and what I'm doing and what I'm presenting and how I'm presenting information or just talking or just getting better at talking to people because I, I really have enjoyed it. It's a huge, uh, huge thing for me um, moving forward in my life is connecting with more and more people and the public speaking is a big fear for probably a lot of people, myself included. And uh, Roaming Reptiles has really helped with that. And I'm actually gonna be one of the speakers at Herpeton this coming year because Freedom Breeders decided to sponsor the event as well. And uh, that's kind of what got me in there as a speaker. I'm extremely nervous about that talk because I'm not talking in front of a bunch of kids uh, you know, that definitely know less about reptiles than me. I'm talking about talking in front of people that are like scientists and accomplished uh, career herpetologists. And I'm, I'm, I'm nervous about that, dude. Like I'm, I'm super nervous about that, but I feel that I'm gonna do well when the time comes. Okay, I'm gonna put this snake away. I'm gonna get my boy Noah down here and we're gonna talk about what's coming forward in 2020 that you can expect to see here on the channel. First thing is uh, February, end of February, big trip to Australia with Mr. Kaufman, going out to the shows out there, uh, the, the Pernith show. And uh, what's up? Be careful there. Oh, yeah. There are a lot of dangerous things. Yeah, that's, that's very accurate. Some of the most dangerous things live in Australia. Yeah, that's that's accurate. I'm gonna be very careful out there. Obviously, I want to come home to my family, but this is a big trip for me. I've never been to Australia. There's gonna be a slew of videos because we're gonna be over there for like two and a half weeks. I'm gonna probably be filming every day, and making a video for every day. I imagine, and uh, that's that's a huge thing coming up. Then of course Anaheim coming right at the beginning of the year. It's gonna be the biggest show in the world at this point. It's slated to be Got lots of cool people to hang out with. All, the, all of our friends that are coming, that are, that are here in California, going to the show, that's that's going to be a great way to start off 2020 is that Anaheim show right there on the 4th and 5th. If you guys are not going, go down in the link of the description, get your tickets, and we'll see you there. Um, Microdosing. I've already kind of started a little bit. I've got 20 years of experience macro and mega dosing, and uh, I've been doing a lot of research recently into the microdosing and seeing the benefits that are there for healing and neurogenesis and i i'm just i'm intrigued by it and i'm gonna i'm gonna give it a go and see how it goes i mean you know with my experience macro and, and mega dosing i i think micro dosing could be very beneficial based on my previous two decades of research so <laughs> i'm looking forward to that um also hey noah what do you know i know What about sharks? That this puppet is a shark? <laughs> well, actually, I know about this puppet shark. And he's got yellow eyes, black pupils, and I'm pretty sure he's a tiger shark. <laughs> he's got fish swimming on his belly, yellow green, both white eyes, and on his back, he's got the dorsal fin, I don't know what these fins are called. Pectronic thing. Pectronic fins. Pectoral. 
pectoral fins. Oh, I like I like pectronic though. <laughs> <laughs> but what is interesting, yeah. bud, is something I think we should talk about that you're getting into. What do you think? Recording? Recording, my guy. My parents got this guy by default. Actually, we got him a, a piece of shit camera and it was a piece of crap. And my parents had this one sitting around and we're going to let Noah I use it. I thought this was Grandma and Grandpa Tisdale. No, Grandma and Grandpa Cusco. So yeah, he's got a he's got a camera. He's had a channel for a while with no content on it. There will be a link in the description, of course, for Noah's channel, and he's gonna start creating content, and it's gonna be a fun thing for the two of us to get together and and make videos and and uh, just I think it'll be fun. I've I've wanted to do it for a while, and now he's really on board with with the idea of doing it, and uh, I think it'll just be a fun little creative outlet for him, something we can do together oh, as father and, and son. Does, what do you think this? menu button does uh it accesses the menu we'll, we'll learn all about that stuff dude trust me that's it for us man I, I hope to see you guys here in 2020 and i'm looking forward to all the stuff that we got coming up and should be a wild ride guys should be fun and uh oh. leave a comment down below what? thanks oops no you got anything to say to sign out for 2020 bud sign out for 2020 19 2019 what we're done. This is our last video. Wait, of the year. I forgot to start recording. <laughs> <laughs> like father, like son. Yeah.